and welcome to the channel. I'm Volcano AC, and today I will be reviewing the free plugin from Universal Audio, the legendary optocompressor LA2A. This plugin is known to be a faithful emulation of the iconic optical compressor Teletronics LA2A. I downloaded this plugin for free during Universal's audio campaign UAD for All. In previous episodes, I show you how I downloaded this plugin for free and how it performs with female vocals, with acoustic guitar, with clean electric guitar, and with ukulele. Links to those videos in the description below. In this video, I will review the plugin with electric guitar, going through the lead channel of the Engel Fireball 25 amplifier. I recorded a rhythm and a lick track to see how this free compressor performs. When I recorded the lick, I had the Ocean's Eleven reverb pedal engaged on the loop section on the amp. The Engel cabinet had vintage 30 speakers and one of the speakers was mic with the legendary Shure SM57 microphone. For this video, I used my PRS SE electric guitar. In addition, I will review this plugin on electric bass. To record the bass, I mic the Fender Rumble amp with the Shure SM57 microphone. All right, let's hop on Studio One and get started. All right, and here we are in Studio One. This is my uh, track number eight. That's the electric bass that I recorded, my Ibanez electric bass. And it's just uh, a quick and dirty track just for this video. So nothing to elaborate it. And uh, then we have the lick one, lick two, pan to the right, pan to the left the same leak over here. And then we have the electric guitar, rhythm electric guitar going through the Engel amplifier, Fireball 25, and then the Engel cabinet with vintage 30 speakers, same as the leak over here. And then I have from Addictive Drums, a little loop over there, just to put you in context of what we're working on. Let me please, uh, first uh, let you hear just a little bit how it sounds to put you in context. So that's a little intro over there. I'm going to start uh, tweaking the bass first. So I'm going to mute the drums, all the guitars, and I'll be ready to showcase how this free plugin works on our bass. So the very first thing that we need to note is that I have a Pultec style plugin from Black Rooster Audio. The more I use it, the more I like it actually. When I first got it, uh, I was not a big fan, but I think I just needed time to learn more about how to do the adjustments here. And then uh, of course we have our Universal Audio free LA2A compressor plugin. And I'm gonna start with the plugin off. So this white is the bass track, so let's see how it sounds. All right, time to turn it on. Oh yeah. It controls so much those dynamics. Look at my playing, go very loud and then immediately less loud. Yeah, I'm not a bass player, I just do this for fun, so it doesn't matter a whole lot just for this video because really what I'm showcasing is this plugin, <laughs> it's helping all this playing. It 
it almost distorts in those big ones when the plugin is, is off. Nice, nice, nice. Limit. Nice. I really like it actually. Compress. Let's bring it back to the beginning. And I should say that my electric bass, Ibanez electric bass, I recorded it uh, using the Fender Rumble amplifier, Fender Rumble 40, and um, I used a Shure SM57 microphone to record the bass. particular case with the bass when I turn the plugin off actually it even distorts the signal so the plugin really is helping me to keep my dynamics right on par not perfect because my playing was not perfect but it really improves the sound Let's see how it sounds in the mix uh, context. The bass almost disappears when I turn it off. Okay, all right, well, we were able to check out our bass over here. Now let's move on to the electric guitar and uh, the rhythm and the lick. So. I show you what uh, do I have in the electric guitar let's go to the electric guitar um, boss over here and you can see first of all I have my black rooster audio plugin the vpre 73 the Halloween edition I think it's pretty cool with um, amplifiers and then I have the um, free universal audio plugin teletronics optical compressor and to finish it up i have the pro eq from studio one that it truly does a great job just like any other great eq plugin so i'm gonna start uh, with the plugin off and we're gonna be turning it on and off something that probably i didn't mention right now but i should is that um, I have both rhythm electric guitars, one to pan to the left, one pan to the right in two different recordings. So I didn't use two mics in one recording. I actually used the same mic in two separate recordings. And it all goes to that boss that I just showed. And also the lick, I both licks, 
were recorded at different timings with the same Shure SM57 microphone and they're all going to the same bus. It's just that I didn't want to have to put one individual uh, or make a track for the lick, a track for the electric guitar rhythm uh, guitar. I prefer just to uh, put one and that's why you see there's empty space so we can hear the dynamics of the compressor uh, for the lake when we're here and then for the rhythm guitar in the other parts. At some point I'm gonna turn off the um, addictive drums and go from there, okay? So I think we're ready, so uh, let's go. Okay, that's off now. Let's turn it on. So with um, the lead channel of the amplifiers, we gotta be very careful because the signal is already compressed as you can see over here. Uh, when we record in the Shure SM57, the signal is much more compressed than uh, when it does not go into an amplifier. So we're, our goal is not as we did in previous episodes with the acoustic guitar, you know, to control the dynamics here. We just want to add a little bit of control, just a little notch. We don't have to go too crazy in the ukulele video maybe some of you remember we had to go a little bit in the high side of compression and it was helping uh, that the sound of me strumming was not coming across too loud but here is a different story here we just want a little bit of compression it's already very even steven our sound wave over here so there's no reason to crank our optical compressor too high. Let's continue. nice nice actually i really really like how it sounds especially when it's just a little bit that is uh, compressing we don't need to compress that much to be honest so now let's go ahead and to end this video um, i'll keep uh, all the um, free la to a compressors on so that we can uh, hear the very final part of the video and with this uh i want to thank you so much for stopping by 
Uh, don't forget if you like the video uh, to smash the like button and for more videos like this don't forget to subscribe and i leave you with the uh, final um not even a mix just the final uh, set of tracks that i put together for this set of videos Bye-bye.